So I will need uh, one connection from this group, only one. Just tell us. Orange triangle. Same size, same shape. Ooh, we have two shapes that are of the same size, yes. Okay, so that tells us that we are going to work on coordinates or grids, something like that will be there. We also know that we are going to work with shapes. And what was the other connection? Someone said that we have two shapes that are of the same size. Now, all these connections you've made, we are going to be using for the rest of the lesson. So our objectives are also on the board. So by the end of this lesson, you should know how to perform and describe a translation, uh, represent translations in different ways. The first thing I want to talk about is this, congruent. Now, I like the fact that someone spoke about it. Congruent shapes have the same size and shape. These two triangles have the same size and shape. Look at the angles here in the two triangles, same. The lengths in the two triangles, same. Okay, so translation is simply sliding an object. We Let's do some dancing. Okay, who's aware of a dance called cha cha cha? Yeah. Ooh, you know? Yeah. Okay, okay, let's dance. Give each other some space. One, two, You can change the color. color. I think it's on color white. Mm. This is two steps right. Two steps right. And three steps down. And three steps down. Okay, very good. All right, moving on. How do we represent translations in different ways? So, so far we have come across uh, statements. Let's uh, look at how else we can represent translations. The mark trans this some lab not translate the Kalashian joy and Uzga Tershna, which will cornish that for the Lashmus Mukuneka. Yes, examples of translation in our everyday life. Before we leave, we have a self-assessment task. By now, we know how to do this self-assessment, right? Yes. 